Stanford University. The sun's poles are reversing, and this is a large-scale process that takes place over a few months, but it happens once every 11 years. And so what we're looking at is a really reversal of the whole heliosphere, everything from the sun out past the planets. When that reverses, it affects us here on Earth because not only do we see more cosmic rays, but there's also more activity on the sun. And that activity comes in and it affects the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is really important for lots of technological systems, things like power distribution grids, things like global positioning satellites, prospecting, that sort of thing. So we're very sensitive to what happens out in that heliosphere, even though it's very large. So here we have two images of the sun that we've taken with our high-resolution space instrument. One of them is a white light picture, like you might see if you were to look up at the sun. You see some sunspots. The other one is a magnetic field image, and it shows the direction of the magnetic field. The yellow is one polarity, positive, and the green is the other polarity, negative. Sunspots have a magnetic direction. And so what happens is you see these large structures that appear at mid-latitudes and low-latitudes. And gradually, over time, they diffuse and they move poleward. So what you see here is a large yellow region that's moving southward toward the South Pole. It's eroding the green polarity, the positive polarity that's still there. And when it gets there, it will change the polarity of the whole field and cause the reversal. We've been watching the magnetic field of the sun here at Stanford at the Wilcox Solar Observatory for the last 40 years. And we've seen the reversal of the polar field three times in that time period. Now we're coming up on our fourth one. It's not a uh, catastrophic event. It's a large-scale event, and it has some real implications. But it's not something that we need to worry about. You've probably never even noticed it in the past. But technologically, we care more and more about it as time goes on. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.